hello good evening my dear students this is sundar ravindranathan here how is everybody doing hope all you guys are doing awesome yeah great so now welcome to this workshop i hope this is going to be a wonderful one for you uh, this is a workshop where i'm going to focus on five very interesting you know uh, strategies i would also call that techniques which will help you remember fairly almost everything yeah so shall we move on to the workshop so before i move on uh, one quick check as usual is everyone able to see me and hear me very clearly can you guys ping on your chat let me watch your chat quick 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 guys we don't have much time we have a lot to cover yeah yes yes great 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 so you all right all right all right no okay guys if someone is getting a no please ensure that please refresh the page i hope the problem is going to get solved yes right let's move on so i will start with a very crisp introduction of mine so my name is sundar rabindranathan as you can see and yes i work as a learning strategist a master teacher at vedantu so this is a, a crisp summary of what i have been through in my life so it's been say uh, more than a couple of decades in fact 22 years to be precise where i am in this industry had the privilege of meeting thousands of wonderful kids as well as teachers uh, where i had the opportunity to coach and mentor them right and uh, very proud to say that i had the opportunity to teach a lot of kids even in places remote places like srinagar yeah great now so this is about me of course i formulated the famous memory masters course at vedantu uh, many kids got benefited by it and i am sharing certain excerpts as techniques today yeah from that course senta is a teacher accreditation organization and i am a certified teacher i am certified for my professional competencies here done great so let's move on my dear children right as usual i will start with a series of questions the first among them is i really want to see the mix of crowds here all right so please help me with what are the different grades that you guys belong to yeah so which grades guys please ping can you ping on chat i really would urge you to be quick so that we close on it move to the next question so i've given you an indication the next again is going to be a question so okay let me see what you guys are typing 8th 9th 8th 6th okay 7th 8th okay many 8th 9 okay 11 okay good welcome 10th 9th all right cool guys i see a fair mix of students in this webinar right so what i will do is i will plan my strategies accordingly share certain strategies which is going to help each of you yeah the generic ones let us move on right the next question is for me to you know refine what i'm going to teach you help me guys have you attended my workshops already it could be this one or any can you again ping on chat let me see waiting 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 no first time okay yes okay welcome again no 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 okay no first time yes all right fine guys so guys uh, i see that most of you are new all right so i'm going to share certain techniques which is going to help uh, the new ones and for the old ones most of the techniques i'm that i'm going to teach today will be new for you uh, <clears throat> please use it as practice if you if that's a technique which i have already taught you done right let's move on guys this is a very important thing so when uh, i am conducting a webinar on 
five master secrets to memorize things quickly and you wanted to attend it tell me what is your objective behind this why do you want to attend this right you can give me answers like if i were you sitting at the other side as a student i'll tell something like sir you know what my memory is not that good or sir i really want to go all out increase my scores perform study well for that i need a few memory techniques right or you can also say like you know what sir leave all these things aside i really want to amaze my friends no no other motive behind so where do you fit help me understand this guys quickly oh already a few of you have typed okay good study better cool understandable yes sir yes sir means i hope you are saying yes for i have a weak memory right okay learn well okay 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 apply in studies great guys i think all most of you you know you are typically looking it as a student and you really want to put it in your studies all the best for that right guys next question in fact an interesting one what is your favorite movie can you type in your favorite movies my dear students what is your favorite movie i am waiting faster guys make it faster let me see what do you type avengers okay what else uri okay three idiots okay good guys good thank you thank you you know i think you know there are flurry of movies that you're typing in now i have my question is this so you all of you have said in fact most of you have said what's your favorite movie now if i want you guys to narrate the storyline of this movie scene by scene i'm sure you would be able to do that right can you i repeat if i am asking you to narrate the story scene by scene i am sure you would be able to do that yeah can i see your response to this okay so yes already yes somewhat yes okay great beautiful guys proud of you now moving on i have another question you have only 10 seconds now the question is what did you have for lunch on friday today is tuesday just 3 days ago what did you have for lunch yeah 10 okay guys one or two of you have typed in the answers many of you have said no 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 don't know the point is this the trick is uh let me put it this way you are able to remember a two and half hour movie and not just a meal which you just had 2 3 days ago yeah what makes you remember such a lengthy movie and not just as a simple meal which you just had very recently yeah something to think food for thought now that means there is something and for this what's the trick the real trick is you need to understand how information any information you want to remember master secrets as we would call it something that you want to memorize you want to remember this is the first form information any information we store gets stored in our brains in the form of great yes photos images correct visuals as you would put it this is the first form second form what is this let me see if someone is able to type it <laughs> beat 
beatbox. Yes, of course, it's a beatbox. What does that mean? Sound. Exactly, guys. You guys are brilliant. Then, what is this? Are you guys able to figure this out? This is quite interesting. Yeah? Anything? Hey guys, who, someone who already attended my session, don't answer. You got it guys. You guys are wonderful. Emotions of feelings. Happiest moment, you will never forget. Saddest moment, you will never forget. You had a quarrel with your friend, best friend, you will never forget. You won a lottery, you will never forget. Because it got stored in the right slot through in the brain, in the form of emotions. You got it? So now what is the trick? I know how brain stores information now. The trick is anything that you want to remember, please put it in this form. As simple as that. How? That's the million dollar question that I'm going to answer through the techniques that I'm going to teach you now. All set? All ready? I hope you understand. I repeat, brain stores information in these three forms. And the moment you understand this, you should start storing whatever you want to in these three forms. Now tell me, let's go back to the movie. How are we able to remember movies so well? Because movies are a blend of images sounds emotions correct put together you find that a movie is is a blend and you will never forget it so now what should i do sir the trick is this what is the trick the trick is whatever you want to remember please ensure you store it in your photographic memory by converting that information into visual you clear you want to remember a date, you need to convert into a visual. You want to remember a number, please convert it into a visual. How do I do that? That's what I'm going, to, I'm going to teach now. This is not all. Apart from this, sometimes images alone, images are visuals, right? That alone doesn't help. You need to ensure you learn to connect all these images and form a story. And that is when you will be able to store it in your video memory. My dear students, if there is an information and you're trying to convert it into a visual, it gets stored in your photographic memory. But if you are able to you have a series of information and you are able to connect the dots so beautifully and weave a story out of it, you will find that you are accessing your video memory. Done? Hey guys, I hope I am clear. Am I? If I am not clear, I don't have a way out. I'll give you my phone number. Let's chat on WhatsApp even after this. This is not the end. This is the beginning of this relationship to me. Someone who genuinely wants help, my help, ping me. Don't expect an immediate response. Not that I'm a lazy guy, but I might be tied up. Whenever I'm free, I will make sure I respond to you. Clear? Done, my dear students. Let's move on. So let's... What are the different information? You said you want to study well, right? When I asked you guys, what did you say? You said, sir, I really want to study well. I want to put these learnings in my studies. Correct? Did you say that? Now, what are the different things you come across? In your studies, you come across numbers. As a student, you are required to remember a lot of numbers. Lot of dates. Images, diagrams, they give you Flurry, so many diagrams to remember. Text. See these dates and text. In social studies, people come and say, Sir, this is, trust me, this is headache. And there are another set of students who say, No, it is so interesting and easy. And what makes the difference? I'll tell you now. So one full page full of paragraphs, text. Events. See, these two go hand in hand. On a given date, a, an event has happened. So date is nothing but a container for an event. So the moment you know how to remember dates, by default, you would have figured out huh, the event as well. Clear? And last not the least, lists. Uh, by list, what are lists? Lists are nothing but tables or tasks, list of tasks. 
let me give you a general example you go to a grocery store your mom gives you a list of items that's a list <clears throat> you have a list of tasks that you need to do today or tomorrow or in a month's time that's a list you have a big uh, you know table given in your history or geography book containing several items that is a table that's a list of items that's a list again clear so these are things that we generally deal with uh, depending on the time available i will try and give you techniques for each of this in fact i'll try to give for all depends on the time available done okay you guys are ready we are going to go how much time is there hopes guys we have only half an hour let's move on fast i hope all of you are ready type give me a yo guys super awesome super right i'm moving on first let us see how to remember dates and events yeah see i have clubbed both as i said okay let's take a date guys let's take a date before that i want to give you a task simple task you are ready all all uh, charged okay i want you to memorize the position of alphabets 1 to 10 if i say g you should say 7 i you should say 9 e you should say 5 in a flash 1 to 10 you got 30 seconds i am very generous 30 full seconds your time started already the clock is ticking come on guys come on come on come on type done whenever i give you a task once you're done type done Fifteen more seconds. Okay, time is up. <coughs> Let me now. Let's take a date. <laughs> okay. When did let's. Let's take French Revolution. When did French Revolution start, guys? I, let's start with year. Let's make it a bit easy. Okay. French Revolution started in seventeen eighty nine. Am I right? So, if it is seventeen eighty nine. put those alphabets there guys what is 1 1 is a correct what is 7 7 is g what is 8 h what is 9 i so all i have to do is i just need to i told you right anything that you want to remember convert it into a visual form that's what i'm doing now so 1789 is as per my alphabets a g h i so i am converting into a visual by saying anti government historic initiative by the french people right anti government historic initiative by the french people leave the french people say that twice you will remember it anti government historic initiative a g h i the moment you say it twice thrice 10 times after that any time you want to remember when did french revolution start all you that needs to come and that will come to your mind is anti government historic initiative a g h i a g h i 1 7 8 9 1789 right simple way with one task you guys are remembering the year will this work shall we try one more Let's take Republic Day, twenty sixth of January, nineteen fifty, right? B F Y 
E uh, for zero I am putting O okay so O what happened in our freedom we were fighting for our freedom so there is a big fight for what in this day all Englishmen were oosted. Oosted, oosted means sent out. Big fight, all Englishmen oosted out of India. Yeah, that's what is Republic Day for you. And all you have to remember is whenever you want to remember Republic Day's date, big fight, all Englishmen oosted. Automatically B F A E O, right? Which is two six one five six zero. Clear? Now you guys have a fair feel. See what happens the moment I say big fight you some fight comes to your mind right visually your mind gets impacted do you agree yes or no yes as simple as that so we are converting any information that you want into a visual form beautiful right I hope you guys love this technique I really loved it and I've been using it for years yeah okay first one is over shall I move on to the next one I'm moving a bit fast. See guys, you should learn quickly, practice for a long, long, long time. That's how it works. Yeah? Okay. So, let's move on to the next one. Now we are going to remember lists. Okay, I was telling you, right? Lists or tasks. I also clubbed paragraphs. So, three techniques in one technique. Oops, three advantages. Let's see what that technique is. What is such a powerful technique? Let's see. You guys are ready? Cool. Hey guys. <clears throat> now, task number two. You already have memorized the positions of alphabets 1 to 10. Now, all you need to do is fix or assign a fixed object to every alphabet. If I say A, what comes to your mind? For me, it's apple. For you, could be anything. Aeroplane or apple. A, B, B, ball, C, A for B for guys, still J. As simple as that. Let me put it this way. And keep, do not keep changing the objects. Assign a fixed object. If you have fixed it, don't change it. That stays. Otherwise, mind starts getting confused. It gets complicated. Done? <coughs> How much time do you need? Okay, 45 seconds. Quickly, guys. 45 seconds for this. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the first done being typed. Okay, done. Superb. All right. Hey guys, I hope you're doing it. Let's carry on. Keep doing it and listen to me. Now, I want you guys to mention a few objects around you, right? If you see objects around you, right, please mention a few of them. Let me start, okay? One. Mobile. Two. Good. Mirror. Three. TV. Four. Door. Okay. Five. Laptop. Okay. Six. Book. Seven. Chair. Eight. Yeah. Scale. 
नाइन माउस टेन टेन राइट क्या यू रिटर्न टेन और राइट टेन ऑब्जेक्ट दट वी सी अराउंड आस नाउ आई वॉन्ट यू टू विजुअलाइज वॉट एवर आई से ट्रस्टिंग मी ओके सो द फर्स्ट ऑब्जेक्ट इज मोबाइल अवर फर्स्ट ऑब्जेक्ट इज ए फॉर एप्पल I want you to close your eyes visualize an apple mobile apple iphone quickly visualize an apple iphone you're done okay number 2 mirror for me b for ball okay close your eyes visualize that you're standing in front of a mirror instead of your reflection you see a ball only are you able to close your eyes and do it yeah crazy all right that's okay 3 For us, see for cat. Here it is TV. Visualize you are watching uh, a documentary on cats, or watching the movie Cat Woman. Yeah, anything. Four. Here it is door. For us, D for dog. You open the door and you find a big, you know, dog, a bulldog standing in front of you. Okay. Visualize that scene. You open the door and you are startled, shocked to see such a big, huge bulldog in front of you. Five laptop for me. E elephant. Visualize your laptop screen saver as an elephant. Yeah, a laptop screen saver, beautiful African elephant. If you look at it in Windows Seven, there was one beautiful screen saver like that. I remember. I do not know if you. All right, done. Six book. Six is F frog. Visualize an encyclopedia of different breeds of frogs. Close your eyes. Encyclopedia of different breeds of dogs. Seven chair. Seven is G. For me, G is goat. Visualize a plumpy goat sitting in a chair doing circus. Visualize a plumpy goat sitting in a chair in your chair. that's when you will not forget right when you are deprived of your seat right right eight scale h is horse <clears throat> visualize you <clears throat> beating okay let's not be that harsh tapping tapping a pony with your scale the pony is running away and you are chasing it visualize you tapping a pony with a scale yeah Nine, I. Here it is a mouse. I is for me. I is ink bottle. <coughs> Visualize that you have spilled the ink bottle. The all the ink got spilled on your computer mouse. Visualize red ink getting spilled on your computer mouse. Visualized. Ten is pen. Pen. All right. Ten for me. J is jackal. Visualize you drawing a line art of a jackal with your pen. Visualize you drawing a line art of a jackal with your pen. Clear? Done. Ten objects visualized beautifully. Now let's close and see what are we able to do with this. Okay. So one, if I am not wrong, is an Apple iPhone, right? Is it not? Mobile, as you would call it. Two, you are not able to see your mirror. You know, it was a ball that you saw. Three, cat. You were watching Cat Woman in TV. Four, dog. What did you do with your dog? To so open the door, and that bloody bulldog was standing. Five, elephant in your screen saver. Last laptop screen saver. Six, frog. Frog. Okay, all breeds of frogs. Is it not encyclopedia? Seven is goat. You are deprived of your seat in your chair. Eight. For me, it was H for horse tapping the pony with a scale. Nine ink bottle skirt spilt on the mouse. And ten jackal I was drawing with a pen. You are able to remember it so beautifully. Yeah. Easy. Impressed. More importantly. apart from being impressed 
where are we going to use this in your studies can you first of all this is one of the most powerful techniques with which you can do wonders i'll tell you an example <clears throat> assume that you have a page you have a page full of text and you're breaking your head as to how to study that all you have to do is identify every paragraph one phrase it's called a memory tag identify one phrase which speaks about one paragraph similarly another phrase which speaks about one paragraph so the first phrase whatever you identified please associate with that of an apple second phrase for the second paragraph what you know associate that with a ball guys i hope you are able to understand what i am saying if there are multiple paragraphs in a page full of paragraphs for every paragraph go through it carefully identify a word or a phrase which represents that paragraph all you have to do is connect it associated with the apple with the ball with the cat with the dog and so on one paragraph <clears throat> sir can i remember it accurately with practice yes at the beginning do not give it up saying that no no i am able to remember the phrase but i am not able to expand the paragraph <coughs> link it you will be able to do it by that what i mean is when you are able to remember recollect get the phrase back quickly identify how you can expand what was that phrase speaking about in that paragraph then you will be able to do clear now one more today i am teaching you so many techniques first technique please identify with apple second technique what i am right now teaching identify with the ball also associated with the ball <clears throat> guys are you able to get what i am saying now if i if my mom is giving a grocery list hey guys first buy some wheat for me right what i will do is first item was wheat i will associate a apple made out of wheat you got my point like this the entire grocery item you don't need a list everything is here you got it that's how it works it's very very powerful it has multiple applications what is this technique called as my dear students this technique is called <clears throat> step 1 memorize the portions of the alphabet step 2 assign a fixed object to every alphabet both are done step 3 whatever you want to remember and the alphabet object that you have associate them create a relation them visual relation This is what the formula said, right? Brain stores information only in those three forms. Please, whatever information you have, access your photographic memory or your video memory. Done? Clear till this? Okay. Let me move on. This is called the most famous PEC system of memory, right? Now, how can I remember concepts or events, guys? I am going to move very fast on this. to remember concepts or events say let's take an event i hope you guys remember a flash card flash cards are effective because they are visual but the one that i'm going to teach you is called a theme card they are more effective because they are visual and more importantly you are creating it normally flash cards are created by someone we just use them but in this case you will be creating let's see how right the first one say i have a theme the theme is i want to remember about world war world war 1 is my theme so what i do is i create a card right i create <coughs> a card a theme card and say world war 1 started in this year world war 1 ended in this year world war 1 the reason we have why it happened who are what are the countries uh leaders what were the effects of this war what happened after this war like this i will combine whatever information that i want and put it in this theme card 
because you are creating it in the form of a visual and you can also stick some images upon world war one here you know what happens trust me you create this card <clears throat> keep going through it for once or twice and when you're doing the revision it is going to work wonders for you are you clear right this is called a theme card can i use it you can use it for anything you can use it for a concept you can use it for a event are you clear done <laughs> this is the next technique guys theme cards which will help you remember a concept or an event now moving on tables i'm moving really fast on this okay tables <clears throat> So now I have already given you the paragraph part with PEG system, you will be able to remember a big page also easily. Now tables, how can I remember tables? Let's see. My dear students, I've just given you two sentences, two simple sentences, which are more visual and in a story form. You see that? You have 30 seconds time. I want you to memorize this. Harry and Lisa are natives of Karnataka. They found a ruby crystal in the beaches of Mangalore and gave it to a senior Bangalore ranger all right, <coughs> who scanned it and said, Yahoo! Simple sentence. Type done guys. As usual, please type done when you're done. Done. Done? Okay, I got the first done. Done, done. Right, okay, okay. Cool guys, cool. Now you know what you just did? Just by memorizing a simple set of two sentences, which is even in a story form. You will never forget this, right? It's in a story form. With this, you remembered 15 random elements of the periodic table. It has no difference. Even in an order, you can remember it. Amazed? Surprised? 15 elements of the periodic table. I'm sure the next question is going to be how? Yeah, someone typed. How? This is how my dear students. This is how. Harry H is hydrogen. Lisa Li is lithium. Natus Na is potassium. I'm sorry, I mean sodium. Karnataka K is potassium. And so on I go till Yahoo! Yttrium. So the moment I say Harry and Lisa are natives of Karnataka, automatically hydrogen, lithium, right? Sodium, potassium in the order that I want to. Not in the right order. I, I picked the random order. First three columns is what I picked. Right? You would be able to remember. What did we do here? I had a set of elements in a table. We call it as periodic table. I took those elements, identify words starting with those elements and associated them to form the story. Remember, if you weave a story out of it, it goes into your video memory. You will never forget it. This story will obviously go into your video memory and you will not forget it. Clear? Done guys? Excellent. So this is called the most famous linking technique for permanent memory. Because it gets stored in your long term memory, you just won't forget it at all. Clear? Right. Okay. So my dear students, I am moving fast because I wanted to give you all the five. If there are doubts, I'll help you with my number. You guys feel free to be in on chat with me. Right? By WhatsApp. Let's get connected. Whenever I am free, I will ensure I respond to you as I said already. Now numbers, how do I remember numbers? I have already taught you. I don't need to t teach you this again. Still, I am going to give you a set of very simple three sentences. Indians are good at cricket. Indians follow a guys who already attended my webinar. Please keep quiet. Indians follow cricket internationally. Cricket is India's initial. Yeah. 
So Indians are good at cricket. Indians follow cricket internationally. Cricket is India's initial. What I want you guys to do is, I want you guys to, 30 seconds, please remember this. Be ready. Your time starts now. Done, already done. Super, superb guys. <clears throat> done? All right. You know what you just did? With this, you guys memorized my phone number. Indians are good at cricket. Indians follow cricket internationally. Cricket is India's initial. Without my permission, you guys memorize my phone number. Okay, how? This is how. Leave the articles. Indians, I, it starts with I, good, G, starts with G, cricket, starts with C, again Indians, I, F, 3, alright, internationally, I, cricket, and 3 again, India, th 9, initial 9, so that leads to my phone number, which is 973963939, yup, you guys loved it? Simple but effective. All you guys have to do is just by memorizing 1 to 10. See what all magic we were able to do. Alphabet positions. You just pick the alphabet. Create the you know uh, words. Identify words which starts with that alphabet. Corresponding to that number. Connect them to form a sentence. As simple as that. This is called number position method. Number position method. Clear? Perfect. Right, my dear students. Okay, might not have time for this. Fair enough. <coughs> right, guys. Now, I hope you really loved certain techniques which I taught you. More importantly, I think I have given the foundation for you. How does memory techniques work? It works on the basis of how brain stores information. Yes? Great. Now, as a student, if you are really loving and learning it, whenever you are learning something, identify if two things are happening. Is it very simple? And is it really enjoyable? If these two things are happening, learning is going to be pure fun for you. Okay? And as a student, this is a question that you always have. Sir, anything that I learn, can this be done? Can I make learning super easy and fun really? Another question is, can I really, I just do not, I should not be reading my textbook. Can I live my textbook? When will you live your textbook? Two things should happen if you need to live your textbooks. One, when will you live something? When you are able to connect whatever you are learning with the real world. Trigonometry, where is it applied in real world? Pythagorean theorem, right? Where is it applied? Projectile motion, where is it applied? Arithmetic progression, where is it applied? Right? When you are able to identify practical applications of everything and more importantly, when your teacher is giving you lots, loads and loads of examples to help you connect with the real world, you will love it. And this is how learning happens at Vedantu. So, I am very happy to introduce to you the Vedantu's long term course. I have already explained you the benefits. This is the link, my dear students. https colon slash slash vdnt.in slash memory pwr17. And as a lightning offer, as a token of gratitude for your participation in today's webinar, you will be getting a lightning deal with amazing discounts. If you are getting into it and enrolling right away. Yeah, simple payment options are there. Anything to make your life very easy will be provided. Yeah, great. You are, I hope you guys have already you know, noticed the link, noted it down. Really, really looking forward to you guys, you know, joining these courses and me teaching you different techniques, memory techniques, learning strategies across different subjects. Yes, great. <coughs> My dear students, I hope you really found this uh, session to be very informative. 
you had some information which is going to help you study better and more importantly apply these techniques practice it practice is the key to success when it comes to memory techniques done great thank you so much you guys were a wonderful bunch of kids and uh, hope to see you in these courses and of course the next webinar yeah so be in touch you have my number all right and until then it is sundar ravindranath and signing off my dear students have a great evening bye bye